Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. Uh, this week we're going to make a uh, welding table holding jig. Um, what I have here is um, a dial indicator magnetic base, 36 inches of drill rod that's been threaded, and I have a 24 inch piece of uh, uh, drill rod that I'm using as a cross piece piece of uh, carbon steel welded to a small set of vice grips and uh, you can uh, put this on your uh, metal melding, welding table and uh, clamp it down or to the table and then if you're welding something at uh, various heights you can slide the, uh, the uh, cross piece up and down and hold the piece. You can rotate it uh, either uh, horizontal or vertical and then you can use that to weld the piece in place on what you're working on. So uh, let's head over to the lathe and we'll do some uh, some turning and threading on the rod and then I'll, we'll go over to the welding table here and then we'll show you what I did and how to put it together and uh, again this is a very short pro project and only took about an hour. Here I have a 15 30 seconds uh, 36 inch tool steel uh, rod uh, mounted in my lathe and uh, at one end I'm going to turn down um, the rod to 8 millimeters which is uh, 314 thousandths in decimal. Um, I won't do it all on camera I'll just take a few cuts and then when we get down to threading then I'll uh, since my lathe can't do a metric threading I will use a die to do the threading so uh, let's get going and do some uh, some turning. measurement okay we're about 408 thousandths we have a little ways to go what I'll do is I will uh, turn the rest of this off camera we'll come back and uh, show you some of the threading operation my lathe uh, tapping holder is uh, too small for this tap so unfortunately I had to start it using the tailstock pushing on the tap to try to get it as straight as I could and then I'm manually tapping it with a tap handle or a, a die handle so um, not ideal but I'm hoping uh, it will work let's uh, watch for a few minutes and uh, then we'll finish the rest off camera Let's take and get a small file and touch up the threads with the file. And then we'll touch it up with a little scotch brake. Take our uh, test nut. Perfect amount of play. And let's pull this out of the lathe and go over and see how it fits in the dial indicator base. After turning and threading the drill rod, I've uh, screwed it into the uh, dial indicator magnetic base. 
Uh, this is an El Cheapo one I picked up from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. And uh, what we're going to do now, I have a piece of uh, carbon steel here, and I've prepped the, uh, the steel rod and ground away the galvanization on the, uh, the small set of vice grips. And I'm going to weld that, and then we can screw this into here and use it as a holding fixture when welding. Um, I also have another piece of uh, uh, carbon steel rod and I have a small one inch clamp. So uh, later on if I need uh, a different type of clamp for holding I can always uh, grind the paint off of this and then um, either TIG braze it or uh, TIG weld it since it's cast. Um, but that uh, will be for a later project. But as you can see here I'm going to prep this up now and I'm going to attack weld this and then uh, finish welding it and then uh, we're going to do a final shot of uh, everything assembled and uh, put together. So uh, it's a great holding fixture. Stick in what we want to weld to something at that particular height. We can in then adjust the height. And uh, there's the holding fixture. Put that together in about an hour's worth of time. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.